Mr. Bono on the line right now in Herkimer County. Uh, of course, uh, Vince Bono is a Herkimer County legislator and has been instrumental in uh, the recruitment of uh, a business for the pumpkin patch down there. The I guess it'd be the what is it? What's the official title of that pumpkin patch now? It's the business park. It's the Five S Business Park. It's the Five S South Business Park. Okay. Are you okay with us calling it the pumpkin patch? Uh, effectually known as the pumpkin patch. Sure, yeah. Bill. That's <laughs> hard uh, to, we've always called hard, it. Hard to get rid of that. So yeah, I'll, absolutely. I, I guess uh, we wanted to get a little update. I know that still to as of yesterday, Tractor Supply is still not talking. Um, uh, you guys did reveal that you're working with Tractor Supply, but the deal is not done yet. Right. Uh, is right. the deal done? And uh, can you give us a timeline on on sure. maybe give us a hint as to when you think it's going to be done? Sure. Ironically, today we have our uh, Herkimer County IDA meeting. Uh, at that meeting today, we'll be reviewing their application, their formal application for financial assistance. Uh, that'll be approved. Uh, if once we approve that, we will review also a purchase sale and development agreement. Um, that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of the, you know, that's uh, what both parties agree to do. Got it. Uh, and then uh, we will be inducing a, a resolution, and that inducement resolution will pretty much, uh, that pretty much uh, requests the, I, that's the company's request for the IDA to consider undertaking of, you know, certain economic benefits such as, you know, sales tax exemption. Okay, got it. Tax pilots and things. So, yeah, it's on the move today. We uh, actually, the probably should have had an interview tomorrow, but uh, we, we look forward to having all this approved. Uh, we've come to an agreement. Uh, the attorneys have looked over everything. Uh, the boards will, you know, our board today will review everything, make sure uh, T's are crossed, uh, uh, I's are dotted, and uh, we'll move forward with this. So it's a, it'll be a great day for us uh, once they sign the paperwork. Uh, then a closing will be had. Uh, once the closing... Um, is done, done then done. Uh, a building re- permit will be issued. So um, the town of Frankfurt has gone forward with their review of the zoning change. Uh, the planning boards have met, uh, the Frankfurt Town Board have met, and both boards have uh, unanimously agreed to, to go forward with those, those planning uh, those zoning changes. So I think the I, I think the woman at Tractor Supply is getting sick of hearing from me because uh, <laughs> she's probably. Uh, uh, probably you know I don't uh, know anything. But basically, today though is big. I mean, this goes through today, and this you've just you're getting over a couple of hurdles, and it becomes more of a legal uh, uh, right. right. Situation we still have some work to do. Put an agreement uh, we, together. Uh, we uh, as part of the agro- those agreements, uh, the uh, IDA has to move some water lines and some sewer lines that are in the park. Um, but no, to, uh, to us, we didn't know that a uh, big box would be coming in there. So some of those lines have to be rerouted um, once that's done, and that all that work has to be completed by July 1st uh, is the target date. Uh, once we complete that, then you'll see a shovel in the ground by July 1st uh, with tractor supply. Don't you see, though, uh, do you see an agreement being signed prior to that, though, right? Oh, absolutely. Once, yeah. the, once our board affirms it today, it'll go to the company. Uh, they'll review it. Uh, they'll sign it, and uh, it'll it'll be a go. All right. So in the next uh, coming week or so, it's possible we could see an agreement signed by Tractor Supply, and this thing is a, is a deal. This is a big deal, um, right? I mean, this is such a big deal for Herkimer County. Oh, absolutely, and it's a big deal for the region. Yeah, for that yeah. matter, three hundred fifty jobs. They're you know uh, uh, they are living wage jobs. Um, they will be acquired through a. a a process, well, through a time process here, I believe it's 170 jobs, 175 mm-hmm. jobs for the first year, and then I think the build out is till 2024. There'll be about 350 jobs that will come in uh, completely there. So it's uh, it's great for the community. It's great for the uh, taxing jurisdictions, the county, the the town of Frankfurt, the Frankfurt Schuyler School District will all benefit from this. Mm-hmm. Not to mention the region. I mean, yeah. you know, those people are going to come from all over. They're not going to just come from Herkimer County, um, as was. Uh, you know, when Tractor Supply came in, and I think we talked about this last time, uh, they come in with a team and they they look at the region. Yeah, they didn't yeah. just look at Herkimer County. They looked at Oneida County, Fulton County, Montgomery County, where they can draw in uh, people. So, uh, yeah, well, it's, infra- it's, you you have the the advantage of infrastructure there in terms of everything is needed, including that you know that five S. Uh, it's it's an easy in and easy out, which is really important. It's what they look for. Yeah. Uh, it was one of the main concerns: east west corridor. Uh, linking up to the north-south corridor, which is very short uh, distance down the road. So it's, uh, you know, it's a great location. And Herkimer County, you know, you, you know, Bill, being a native, it's, it's dead center. I mean, yeah. we are, we're the heartland of New York. And, 
here we are, the crossroads. So uh, it's it's I, yeah, I, we're we're very excited. So I, I do want to ask you what kind of I mean, you guys have been very instrumental in, in this deal here. Uh, working with uh, Tractor Supply, I mean, you. Th- this is something you guys really put together. Um, what what uh, conversations have you had, and and is there any hope uh, on the line of uh, uh, in nearby Ilian for Remington Arms? Any communication there? Uh, you know, we we talk to them. I know Jim Wallace, our county administrator, talks to them regularly. Um, you know, it's a, it, in a holding pattern right now. Yeah. Um, you know, they they're quiet about uh, things, and they should be. It's, it's it's, that's the corporate world. Uh, yeah. we, we appreciate everything they've done for us, and I'm sure they appreciate everything we've done for them. But we work with them. Uh, if they need us, we're there. They know that. Uh, certainly, uh, business is uh, you know the craziest thing in the world, but it's being blamed on the fact that Donald Trump is president of the United States. Uh, that Hillary being president would have been far better for the gun industry because everybody would be running out trying to grab their guns before yeah. they're outlawed. Absolutely. So Trump uh, gave people a, 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 a moment of... Uh, of set them at ease, and, and they're not out grabbing guns. So that boom that was expected didn't happen. Yeah, well, there's a lot of factors that, that play into that. certainly is one of them. Uh, you know, in just the market alone, I mean, yeah. right now it's, it's, it's quiet, too. You know, people aren't buying guns because the hunting seasons aren't, aren't, mm-hmm. uh, aren't uh, in season right yeah. now. So yeah. we, we would probably see a, an upswing probably in, in the middle of summer when people start buying guns for the hunting season. Yeah. So, and yeah. it's typical. You'll see it uh, go up and down. So yep. it, it's... Don't worry. All right. Uh, interesting. And, uh, again, great news on uh, on the tractor supply story and the pumpkin patch. So congratulations on that. Bill, thank you. We appreciate all the support. All right, Vince. Thanks so much. Right. We'll yep. break.